Well, I'll have to thank some Thanksgiving, everybody. If you're watching this on Thanksgiving, I'm sorry! I had a dream that, like, how people can link their Spotify to their Discord account, you could also link your smoke detector to your Discord, and it notified your friends when it went off. This could have saved Randy. We, as a fandom, need to take a breath and come together and realize that Oren Scrivello bind autistic is top tier. Excuse me, being autistic. Sure, we have a plant boy and all, but that evil dentist is a hundred times better. Autism be damn, my boy can... What, what, what is my boy doing? Stop that boy! Reading sports headlines while pretending sports stuff doesn't exist suggests a fascinating world of magic and whimsy. Darius Slay says he was this close to becoming a raven. David Montgomery was pursued by Vikings, bears. Transfer portal created in good faith, but is out of control. Wolf enters transfer portal. Wizard and Raptors injury reports. Man, this is way better than the sports ball. Fank thinks puppy eyes will reduce his sentence. Sorry, buddy, illegal trade blockades are a big deal. In Waterfall! You let that fucking Eevee out of that cage right now. Oh, maybe the horrors would be less daunting if we were holding hands with each other or with the horrors. I've got two hands. They should make an actual banned bookstore that only sells classified government documents. It's called War Thunder Forms. The all-seeing eye has seen enough. The ceaseless watcher needs to rest its eyes just for a minute. Just, just, just for a little bit, please. Look at him. Louisiana police officer crashes after Owl flies into patrol car and starts pecking at him. A hero. Cassie's still fighting that good fight. Hey, she killed a cop in the very first book and she can do it again. ACAB, more like A-C-A-O-H. Got him. Watching a whale documentary where a whale eats a stingray. Hell yeah, lunchtime. Watching a stingray documentary where a whale eats a stingray. You fucking son of a bitch. 24 tricks to sting worm. Uh, just cast a fire spell. Dipshit. There's something so wrong about making Homestar saying shit. Why? Yeah, people show their true colors in life-threatening situations. No. They show you what they act like when they're mortally terrified. An emotion notorious for literally turning your entire brain off to the point where people who go into those situations as a profession need to be literally trained on how to not have that happen. It's too late, Captain. She's already asleep. This is a Category 5 cozy in bed event. There's nothing we can do. Baldur's Gate 3 has been played for so long on Steam Deck that if you jump back the same amount in time, Jesus will still be alive. This is one of the funniest news titles I have read in a long time. Chat, who do you think Jesus would put in his team? Like, do you think he put the obvious cleric on his team? Or has he got that freak in him and he puts Asterion and Garlack on his team? Can we kill you? <sighs> Metaphorically, yeah, you're allowed to kill me, the author. Can we unkill you? I would love that. I love living a metaphorical half-life, always thinking about what I once was. I would prefer not getting metaphorically killed in the first place, though. Happy 19th birthday to the Nintendo DS! Huh? No, the retro consoles are like the NES and SNES, right? The PlayStation 2 and DS are still pretty new, right? 20... years. I'm younger than the DS. I already got Whiplash being a few months older than the Xbox 360. I can't handle this! Piece of media explicitly against hate. The most hateful person you have ever met. Big fan of said media. Fascinated by this phenomenon. Christianity. Oh my god, you're right. Well, have fun with that as a thanks movement given table. I'm sure Uncle Bobby isn't throwing a fucking fit right now. Probably bad RPG ideas. Hey, hold this for a minute. Bestows upon you power as akin to that of a god. Thanks. Hey. You know what was pretty close to that? Hollowed Bonds. You could check that out on Andy's channel right now. Link in description. Hey, guess who found out the difference between wax paper and parchment paper the hard way? Wait, what's the difference? Well, one you can use in the oven safely, and the other you can also use in the oven if the thing you're trying to make happens to be fire. So my friend bought a scrying mirror, commonly used in the occult for predicting the future, and walked in to see his black cat standing on two legs and staring into it. Don't even worry about that. 
Well, why did he even buy a scrying mirror if he didn't expect his familiar to scry? People say I love you in a lot of different ways. Eat something. Buckle up. Get some sleep. Here are my fries. I'm gonna draw you something. You're a dork. Be safe. Hey, you can have the last slice. Did you get home okay? No. Oh. This makes my insides warm. And my personal favorite, don't die. I fucking love this game, man. You ever listen to a song 47 times in a row and every time you're like, wow, what a good song. I'm gonna play it again. All right, chat, full disclosure. I have felt that way with uh, Rachie's cover of Vampire. It's really good. Like, really, really good. I tell people I'm fine because what the fuck are they gonna do if I'm not? Mm, this is too real. You know, there's drama in the vintage community about people buying rare and expensive pieces on eBay and Etsy and then taking them to their local Goodwill and filming it so they can act like they found it in the wild for old people clout. They make YouTube videos like rare $10,000 1920s flapper dress found at Salvation Army in perfect condition. And then somebody in the comments will be like, You didn't find it there. I saw this to you last week on Etsy. You're a liar and a freak ass. Or however old people type. Everyone gets their ass until they delete their channel. Obsessed with it. Eat an entire can of sweet condensed milk. You deserve it. <sighs> okay. <laughs> this is one of the most rewarding things about posting self-care tips on this site. Witnessing people's lives getting better in real time. This is why I post. My, God, My tattoo artist told me his teenage son came out to him as trans by giving him a bunch of blue cupcakes and a greeting card that said, It's a boy! That's cute, I said. It was not cute, he snapped. I thought he was pregnant. Uh oh, oh, I can see the miscommunication there. Oh no. Okay, because I just saw a terrible take, I feel compelled to say that there is no thick market to oversaturate in fandom. Good gravy. I need everyone reading this post to remember that writing is not content, writing is art. You don't look at a painting of an ocean and say, yeah, it's overdone. You look at it and think it's beautiful. Because it is. And y'all better start treating writing the same fucking way before you lose your favorite Arthurs for good. Art is not something to be capitalized on, and stop treating it like it is. Listen, if you want to understand how emanations work, it's like this. If you're an infinite thing like God, and you want to become a finite thing like the world, how do you go from infinite to finite? Answer, emanation. You know when you're at a wedding, and there's a big pyramid of wine glasses, and they fill the wine glasses by pouring champagne into the top so it overflows and then fills all the glasses beneath it? Imagine the wine bottle is infinite. That's God. Each of the glasses is called a hypostasis. God can emanate through many hypostases to reach its final emanation. As for how many hypostases there are, and how they're arranged, that's the tricky one. Every religion has a different answer, and it's never simple. Metal Gear bosses before they shoot at you from a helicopter. I get no respect on this damn website!